in Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. I know both how to be abased and how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Both to abound and to suffer need. You see a person that is not able to adjust himself and be able to live in every kind of condition. He will not be able to do the work of the Lord successfully. Here Paul the Apostle says, I know how to be abased. And I know how to abound. You see, some people can only work best when everything is all right. We've got land for our district. We'll build our district church. All the fluorescent tubes, none is missing. The loudspeaker is working well. All the, the ground is uh, all cemented. And the, the floor is all right. And all the chairs and the benches of the finest quality. And everything you can see, well, you know, all around that district church, everything is physically in place. That's the only time some people can preach. That's the only time some people can do the Christian work. But when it appears that um, the ground is not yet flawed, or it appears that this time of the rain, the rain is sometimes being blown into the church auditorium, or it appears that the roof is leaking, or it appears that uh, the loudspeaker is not working well, or once the rain comes on the generator, and now the generator is not functioning well, and then the fellow, you have to, you know, be, even as you are taking care of the generator, you have to take care of him. And you have to be encouraging him, the rain will soon stop. And don't just cancel the Bible study like that. Don't tell them to go back home. Don't make any rash announcement that they should go. And the rain will stop. And even if the rain does not stop, we can still try. And we can do it this way. And one usher will come and say, we're trying our best. It will be all right. Don't announce yet. Another person will come. And we're trying our best. Don't announce yet. Another fellow will come. And then after five minutes has gone, he's fed up already. And then he calls uh, for the person and the generator. You have not finished? And he said, uh, just a few moments more. Well, I'm going to announce, I'm going to send the people home because I don't know. If God is with us, why should we have difficulties like this? The people will say, look at our church now. Look at this condition. What are the newcomers going to say? You know, if you are going to really succeed in the ministry, you will know how to abound. You will know how to be abased. And you know, there are times that uh, you are going to the fellowship. And it may be that one way or the other. Uh, your wife or your maid has uh, gone to buy food, uh, they, they raw food, they stop, so that they'll come and cook. But because of the traffic uh, hold up, and because of some other reasons beyond the control of your wife, the food is late. And here you are, you're hungry, and you will say, well, I, I don't know whether I will be able to go today. Uh, which zona leader can I send to? Or if you are a zona leader, uh, which place, which person will I tell that, uh, uh, help me tell coordinator, I cannot come. You don't want to give the reason because uh, my stomach is stronger than my heart. And I don't have anything in my stomach, and because of that, my heart will not work for God. My heart will not respond to the meeting today. And therefore you will say, uh, just tell the uh, leaders over there, if they don't see me, it's because of uh, something that is uh, beyond my control. Uh, therefore, uh, if they don't see me, help me that somebody will take my place. Well, somebody might take your crown eventually too.